that's like something he'll just wake up and run into. I mean, could you imagine then the shit that he's thinking about doing? He's in the window. Me and Abe talking about the window. When you're in the window, you can do anything. I mean, he's in his window for sure. Like, he's fucking killing it. Right? Fucking manpower. He's not like just flimsy little guy. He's just like stylish, fucking buffed out, and just ready to kill. I'd like to think that like people's perception of Dylan is going to change, you know? I think he's kind of like a little misperceived, maybe, you know what I mean? This kid's like fucking tough as nails, dude. He's like one of the gnarliest skaters alive right now. People will see. Like, just that, you know? When this footage comes out, I think, I, I, I think it's going to change a lot of people's minds because it's so good. And he's like, it's not just like he's like technically good, he's fucking gnarly. I was a kid, I was seven, never knew you were knew where you would be. What was the point? Too innocent, nothing you said was making any sense. I was like, damn, who is this man? Standing before me saying take a chance. Suddenly everything I thought I knew about the world was taken when I shook his hand. I was so mad, didn't know why. Why was my name attended on your side? Why did you mess with the best of me and my sister were cool without you doing fine? We came around, you came around, told us that you would never ever leave. Hard on my sleeve, letting it bleed, waiting for you again, cause I believe. Once I was 11 years old, my mama told me I won't do this again, need you to go please Once I was 11 years old I wasn't there, I didn't care Moving around a lot and couldn't bear Everyone wanted to fix it and took me away from my sister to live on a bed Breaking the lock, getting expelled Didn't believe in nothing you could tell Wanted to fail, gunning for jail Wanted to kill my father in a cell I was a mess, that I confess Too young to bottle this up in my chest Too young to do what I was doing Who knew that I would have been a little bit depressed Got into blow, got into dough Made an investment with nothing to show It was the only thing I had control of When it was all over, it never would go once I was 20 years old, my father wrote me Son, I'm sorry that you never got to know me Once I was 20 years old I didn't know then, and I don't know now Why it was hard for me to write it down Why it was easier to say out loud And whenever I try to write, I feel a clap Sooner or later, I gave it up One way or another, can't say enough When I met my brother and told him I wanted to hear from you That was a major bluff I was right in the middle of using, abusing And losing myself, I knew not of sobriety I wasn't ready to meet him I didn't feel like I could be a role model entirely But inside of me, I was like, damn, I relate And I thought I could be of some help And it didn't dawn on me I couldn't be somebody's light if I don't love myself but soon I'll be 60 years old And will I still hold on to everything that happened and be so cold Soon I'll be 60 years old Soon I'll be 60 years old Like honestly this past year like I've just I've just been real motivated to skate. I feel like this video is is gonna be pretty like impactful and like it's, I think it's gonna be a pretty important video for skateboarding now. There's certain people you watch skate and it just looks good, like it's right. You know what I mean? Like it just like alright, like that dude is supposed to be on a skateboard. Like I watch somebody like Ave or like Still, or just watching him skate down the street looks cool, you know what I mean? It looks, like it looks badass. Like, I don't think in the past six months there's been a time we go out, even if it's just a mellow day, it turns into a gnarly day. We all knew what he was capable of, but now he finally knows. Like, he always ripped, but now he's fucking
was skating, really motivated, just like everyone's going to the bar, Dylan's going out with Greg, with the Jenner and the lights to try to go film tricks. I've seen the tricks that he's done, like I, on that trip I saw like stuff that he did that was like really impressive, really impressive stuff. cool thing about being a skateboarder or being a musician or being an artist, you figure it out your own way and you do it your way. It's never good enough, but it's, that's, that's the, you know, that's the good part about it though. And then you continue on the next project and yeah, just keep, keep it going. What's up, my dude? So I hope you guys enjoyed that tribute video I made in honor of Dylan Reeder, who passed away last Wednesday at the age of 28 years old after a two-year-long battle with leukemia, which is such a bummer and such a loss for skateboarding. Now, before I wrap this video up, I'm gonna ask you guys to do something not only for me, but for Dylan himself. Give this video a huge thumbs up and go down there and comment RIP, rest in peace, to show support for Dylan and his family and friends. And if you're feeling it, then go ahead and share this video with your family and friends on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you guys want, and hopefully even more people will be inspired from what Dylan did for skateboarding. So thanks again for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.